So, let's today study single phase transformers. Why do we need transformers? You have some supply, voltage and current. Okay? There is a circuit or some device that requires voltage and current at some other value. Okay? This is your V1, I1. You want some different set of voltage and currents. So you want a you want an instrument or electrical equipment that can convert one set of voltage and current to some other set of voltage and current. Okay? Transformer is such a device. Okay? Let's try to understand how it works. In transformer, you have something called as core. Okay, this is made up of a magnetic material. Okay, you attach something called as primary winding to one side of the core, and here you give your supply voltage. Okay, and you connect your secondary windings to other leg of the core. What does this do? Basically, this voltage is AC in nature. Okay? So, a current will flow through it. Right? When this current flows, this current will be will be 90 degree in opposition to this voltage because this is acting as an inductor. Okay. So this will be your current, and this this AC current will produce a time varying flux and calling this as phi 1 ok this is a flux what is this flux doing it is linking your primary winding to your secondary winding ok and why the flux is going through your uh, air uh, your uh, core and not through air it is also going through air also But because I have used a magnetic core and because of the permeability of the material used in the core, I am forcing the flux or the magnetic lines of force to go through the core. But there is still there is some leakage of uh, flux and we call that leakage flux. Leakage flux is giving rise to something called as cell inductance. Okay? And there is a mat, there is a mutual flux which is being shared by your primary and secondary. This is your mutual flux. And this is giving rise to something called mutual inductance. Okay? Now what does this flux do? So this flux is linked to both your primary and secondary. So according to me, Faraday's laws of electromagnetism, what does it what does it state? 
when a when a conductor is placed in a magnetic field, a EMF is induced in it. Okay. So across this winding, a EMF will be induced. What will be the direction of the EMF? Its direction will be such that it opposes the force which produced it. What what was the cause of this EMF? This flux. How this flux was being produced? Of this current. So it will produce an EMF here that uh, that produces a opposing current. Okay. So this voltage, this EMF, induced EMF E1, is producing a current in this direction. So this will be the direction of the EMF induced in the in the primary. So for the positive side, for the positive side of the voltage. This terminal is positive and this terminal is negative. Induce EMF polarity will be like this. So if this is changing like this, EMF will be also induce EMF will also be changing like this. Okay, what is happening here? Same flux is linked into secondary. So here also a EMF is induced. Okay, we are calling this as secondary induce EMF and this as a primary induce EMF. Okay. Now, this is a condition of no load, right? I have not connected any load to my secondary. Okay. What does it do here? What it is doing here? Since there is a no load, there is some flux produced, right? And this flux is inducing some EMF here and this side. Okay. So there is some amount of no load current that is flowing through the Primary. Okay. Let's instead of naming it I one, I am naming it as I naught. Okay. So this I naught is flowing through the primary when there is a no load condition at the secondary. Let's try to draw the phasor diagram for this transformer. Okay. Before we go to phasor diagram, let's also understand what is Turner's ratio. Okay, because we need it while we draw the phasor diagram. Suppose the number of turns in of the primary winding, number of turns this is in coil is n one, and number of turns in the secondary is n two. Okay, n one and n two. What we can say? About the EMF generated, E1 by E2 equal to N1 by N2. Okay, why? Why? Why this is so? See, according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, EMF induced, EMF induced is Equal to minus n d phi by d t. Okay, so EMF is induced when flux is changing with respect to time. Okay, into number of turns where this flux is linked, and its direction is opposite to the rate of change of flux. Okay, so can I say E one equal to minus n one d phi dt and e2 equal to minus n2 d phi by dt i have kept phi same because the same flux is linked is being linked linked uh, in the both the coils okay right let's instead of writing it phi 1 let's name it as phi not okay because it will give you some no load current okay So I can say this is phi naught. Okay. Now, if we look at these two figures, these two equations, what is happening? If I just divide it, this gets cancelled to this. And what do you have? E one by E two equal to M one by N two. Okay. So if you have if if For a transform, a number of terms of primary and secondary is given. You can calculate the you can calculate the values of 